So <clears throat> we're uh, we're in Lake City right now, and uh, we're gonna head out to the river one more time this week. I am kind of getting sick. Hi. Tiffany and Fonzo are coming with us. I don't know if they're gonna focus over there. Hopefully they are. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go uh, try to enjoy a day at the river, and I'm hoping the sun and relaxation will give me some Bye. give me some Bye. good art. Drive. We'll, we'll be there soon. I'm getting some breakfast now. So. Oh, it's gonna be a while. We're on our way though. It's 420 by the way. Floats, and then we gotta, and we gotta make our way to the river. Um, Lauren was almost a big baby and made us go to another completely different location to get her a separate float that they did not have here for some reason. And uh, but even though she had her heart set on it, I know she did. She was, she took one for the team and just got a river run and was a normal person like the rest of us. So now we're gonna finish our our journey to the river. We'll be there in five minutes. Yeah, today was a, kind of a day of um, spur of the moment, if you will. Oh, God. And, um... You don't we... have to go very fast because it's big. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's a really big raft on top. Oh, my God. It's not really that big of a deal. It's tied down really well. But, um, yeah, man, we're going, uh, going kind of spur of the whim. And uh, we wanted to go for a longer day, so we got up earlier. And... Getting there early enough where we should be able to take it like twice. Which will take man, Tiffany's having to drive so slow back there, babe. Get a good shot of Tiffany. Right I mean, there. I don't really know. Like, just through the back window, just kind of see what you can do. I don't even know if I have like. You see? I mean, I guess you can see. They're having to go really slow. They're carrying three tubes. Oh my god, they're lifting. They're lifting. Text her and tell her to slow down. I'm gonna slow down so she has to slow down. It's one of them birds. Big ass birdie. Big, He's like, big don't hit bird. me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me. It's just a bird. Alright. So. We're finally here. We got a... Uh, my buddy Fonzo! What's up? And uh, we're out here at the Edge Tiny River, man. Uh, waiting on these ladies to hurry up and take their little, their little lady room break. So we can get this shit show on the road. Yeah. But it's gorgeous out there. As you can tell, we're kind of just the entrance right now. But, uh, I'm so excited. It's like, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Still a little bit sick, but mostly just stuffy nose, kind of a sore throat. I figured they a nice walk through the woods. Well, they do good for me in that condition, so. Here we are. <laughs> Run. Run. Where is the because Midway Point totally Trail? It looks different. The area where I think they've Wait, changed it in some way. No, yeah, it says the Midway yeah, Point Trail this jungle. way. So I guess we're stuck going the right way. It's just it's different than before. Yeah, it's different. My voices are all picked up. So anybody who sees this, if I put it out today, show tomorrow. It's going to be fun with a messed up voice. But after seeing Mike Love perform, recently um, super sick I don't know he kind of brought it to light that you know when you're playing a healing type of music it really is important to just in times of need especially like sickness uh, it's best to just play through them because in you know, the way they're healing so it feels it feels accomplishing to get them done but hopefully I'm not just mumbling to myself like I said I'm really kind of sick so. <laughs> It's 
So I was saying that today I don't feel so good. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to focus more of the uh, more of the video itself on the actual environment. I'm trying to get some good good wilderness shots, good shots in the river, and also trying to trying to get some shots of Fonzo in his in his uh, his phonogenic energy. I'm gonna take advantage of it today and hopefully help him out on Instagram and help herself out on Instagram by taking some beautiful photography. Till then, we're just gonna sweat yeah. all the way to the river. I swear, I just like you'll love it when you get there. This float though it sits perfectly on my shoulder, so instead of having to like carry it, I just kind of have my arm down here willy nilly. I'm just chilling. Just kind of watch. It's just hot. It's just hot. It's not even. It's not even. You know. Really, that you know, humid. It's just, it's just a little hot. I'm walking. All right. So now that we're here, we told uh, most of the things to Fonzo. Just, I mean, the river is a very safe place. Let's go ahead and clarify that right from the get-go. But we've been telling uh, Fonzo the, the risks, the things that you just need to look out for while you're on the river. Nothing that can really hurt you as much as just you just gotta look out for them. And uh, so I'll go ahead and tell you. So it, it, when we're on the river, Fonzo. Yeah. Um, there is there's a, limbs and stuff, right, that you can kind of grab onto to move yourself along, get yourself away from the edge. Yeah. Because you don't really really want to be on the edge too much. It's just kind of nasty on the edge sometimes. And, you know, you just try to get away from it so you can float. Okay. And uh, if you go so, to move a branch or something, you, know, you just need to look at it really carefully before you grab it. Yeah. Why? Right. Because, because there are snakes. <laughs> what the? There are a lot. But now, we are just coming back into season for them, so they're probably not a lot. No, not at all. But... They're here. There's also a snail habitat. There is a snail habitat, but it's it's fenced off and stuff. But you oh, see wow. you see it on the passing. You guys want me dead. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd enjoy this information. You know, if we told him about the snake, he wouldn't come. Yeah, so I figured I'd wait till we were on the path. Okay. That's why we got you. I want to go. We we almost got him to leave when we almost had him leaving when we told him there was no Wi-Fi or no uh, service out here when we got here. He was like, "What? I'm How am I supposed to Instagram? That would have sealed the deal." You guys, I totally. I totally caught an attitude with my mom, and if I'm dead, like, that's the last thing she's gonna remember. <laughs> she deserved it, though. <laughs> well, okay, Melissa did deserve that, and I'll make sure to tell that you both did. I'm gonna get eight. She, she, he loved you. He, lo he loved you. I mean, this stress seems a lot longer than the last time. By the way, there's killer snakes. It's All right, so we've we've reached the second bench, which means we're about about three fourths of the way there, give or take. I think I've acquired a bug. Oh God! All right, I think we're good. About three fourths of the way there, so I think we'll be there. Just a moment. <laughs> and then I tuck my toes into you. He's gonna bite. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Franklin. Come to your house. Hey, it's Franklin. <laughs> You want me to let you go? I can let you go. Oh I'm only holding on to you because I thought you wanted to be close to me. That's good. I don't know if you wanted to be the Lone Ranger. No, I'm usually the
turtle, turtle. <laughs> Are we not turtle enough for the turtle club? Please go get that tree. You better swim and then swim back. Imagine, like people would love that.